Hey there, Chris here, and today we're taking a look at the Apica CD notebook. This is going to be the B5 size. We previously had in the A5 size, um, but this is a little larger, and there's a few different features from the normal one, so we thought you'd like to take a look. Like the other ones, these come in a variety of different colors. Here we have the red, got a nice light green, the navy, the black, and the light blue. Like the other Apica notebooks, these have 34 sheets of 81 gram white paper. Uh, the cardstock cover is on the thinner side, but you know what, for the price of these, it does the perfect job of keeping it safe, while also keeping the notebook nice and flexible. Um, you can really store and go with these anywhere you want. It's got this great vintage kind of border with the notebook. They're kind of broken English, most advanced quality, gives best writing features. Open it up, you're greeted right away with the first page. It's a bright white paper. The ruling is about six millimeters, so it's a comfortable size for uh, a fine nib all the way to a broad. As you can see here, the paper is just excellent for all your writing instruments. Uh, pencils, fountain pens especially, it does a beautiful job, but even a nice job with uh, rollerballs, ball points, um, and Sharpies. Bleed through, show through, you're not gonna get anything with fountain pens, Sharpies, you'll obviously get a little bit of bleed through, but that's it. Um, does a really nice job too with pencils. Um, even though this is a really smooth paper, um, I found that pencils don't really smear a lot on it. It just provides a, a nice glass-like surface for you to do your writing. Uh, some people like a little bit of feedback with their pencils, but um, if you want a smooth writing experience, this is a great bet. Like I said, it does have a few other features um, that are different from the A5. It has kind of a footer section and a header section here. The header section has kind of a, a title space for you and then also a number and date section. Uh, if you wanted to kind of organize your notes, you could number the pages up here with the number. They are not numbered at the bottom um, and obviously the date's pretty useful. It does also feature these little dots every five lines. So if you want to structure your notes, uh, it's a nice little kind of built-in feature for it. For the price, these are notebooks that are meant to be used, meant to be abused, and then rebought. Um, they're a really great option, a great writing surface for you. You can go check them out at andersonpens.com.